Hey guys, so I've been working on this walking machine project. Uh, as you can see, I got the belly of, uh, belly pan here made. Holds the engine and transmission and the axle, the drive axle. Um, it's a just used a 79cc Harbor Freight Predator engine. It's like three horsepower. Should be plenty enough for what this is with the low gearing and all. Uh, I used a three quarter axle for the drive axle. Um, if you haven't already seen my plans for this go back and I'll put the link in the description to the video where I explain the plans better. Um, so this is just a belly pan and I made two layers here that will bolt together so it will be like a clamshell the top the top will separate so I can get, get to the insides um, this is a 5 speed peerless Tecumseh transmission and here's the shifter uh, the gearing here is about 4 to 1 I started I was going to use this sprocket on the transmission it's a 66 tooth but then I figured I compared it to my mini tractor and that was like way too much gear so I ended up going with like a 4 to 1 ratio here and I'm not sure what this ratio is but um, I think that'll give me a good speed at least something to start with and then I could fine tune it from there if I have to between this and the jack shaft and the sprocket can't go much bigger there but um, I made this little shifter thing this used to be at a 45 degree angle like that but I changed it so it's got enough grab there that it'll work and I'll make a post off of here to be like a tail so it'll shift like that and make use like this for a tail or something. I think that'll be cool. And probably make the exhaust come out back here like a little butt. Um, I don't want it to go too much like that because it'll blow right in my face, but uh, we'll see. And uh, yep, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this clutch or not. It's uh might have to buy a new one because I need still need one for my little scooter. I got this got this one, it's kinda small but it might work. I don't know. And I got this racing one, but it's probably too much for it. Um Yeah, and the first thing I did was uh the cardboard templates for the legs to see because to build this thing, I only really needed two measurements. Uh, the height from this to the shoulder pivot up here. It's going to go up here somewhere. So I needed the height between that and that and the distance. So that's like eight and, eight and a half and then uh, 17 and a quarter or something from there to there. So um, I made the cardboard templates and I just kept making circles on the floor with the chalk and the foot so I could see where the range of motion is, would be for the legs and I just picked the best one that I liked, I thought would work best and was, this is how I did that
So here's the bottom of it. Um, I started just by making the the outlying rim here, and then I just piece these in one at a time. I got the engine positioned, and then I put the back axle in, and then I figured out where the best spot for the transmission would be, and then I made those, the rest of those hoops and the mounts for it, and go up from there. And the transmission mounts are slotted, so I could slide it up and down and move it to where the alignment would be best and the chain tension. So then I filled in the the back the belly bone here to give it some twisting strength. Um, yep, and so now I could. Uh, Get started on the, I'm gonna and I could make the shoulder the shoulder mounts for the for the top pivots there and I'll position this steering sprocket somewhere in here that'll go to a smaller sprocket up here in the neck with the pulley and that's what the reins will come off of. So when I steer it, it'll steer a lot for a little bit of this. So that should be, give it some more uh, tor twisting strength so it's not pulling back and forth as it walks. So I think that'll be good. And yep, I'll, off of this bracket I'll put a rod to the neck part up here and that'll turn the neck and maybe the head too with the turning so so I gotta make this mount here uh, pretty strong because that's gonna hold the whole body from moving everywhere All right so stay tuned for next time I gotta finish up my little scooter here before I get going too much on that thing. I've been working on the body work on that, so it's almost done. Alright, thanks for watching.